And Matt joins us now to tell you the weather today was good medicine for the soul. Matt, it was so nice to see the sunshine. Yeah, it's beautiful out there, and even though the sun is going down or just about to go down. But boy, I'll tell you what, Laura, our view of Mount Hood from our camera on the Oregon Veterans Home in the Dallas has just been putting on an absolute show today. Look at this time lapse, strong northwesterly flow. You can see the clouds forming on the upwind side of the mountain here and then going right over the top and then down. I was actually skiing up there this morning and it wasn't windy at all. It was beautiful. It was about nine inches of new snow, so the powder was great. But you can see the winds blowing at the top of the hill there and then the lighting just kept getting better and better. Now this time lapse stops here, but we can switch to a live view and you can see the clouds have cleared out quite a bit. Um, it was a really spectacular show after I finished that line last time lapse and I've started another. We'll share that with you a little bit later on. 44 degrees out there with the clear sky. Northwest winds at 13, so a little bit breezy for the central and eastern Columbia River Gorge. Still a few showers hanging on the coast range, the Cascade foothills, but not for much longer. Those will be dying off pretty quickly now that the sun is going down. So the headlines look like this clearing tonight. That's going to lead to fog overnight and in the morning tomorrow for the valleys and the coast and even the basins over in eastern Oregon. We'll get some showers this weekend, but a lot of dry time as well. Now I had been giving you a forecast of a dry weekend that has changed a little bit and I'll show you why and it was going to get colder next week too. Here's why it's already the pattern is already setting up a bit. There's a weak system right through here. That's going to bring some high clouds in tomorrow. I don't think we get any precipitation rolling into the northwest until Thursday night or Friday. But the point is we're going to continue to see these weak systems coming down the coast of Canada and then just barely clipping us. So that's why I had to put showers back in the forecast. Let's go through future casts with this. You see the cloud cover around tomorrow. This is nine o'clock in the morning. We don't really get a lot of sun tomorrow. Showers come in Thursday night, Friday morning. They're pretty scattered by that time. It's really going to be Friday when we get a little blast of rain moving through in the morning hours. That'll cycle through fairly quickly too. And while it looks like we start to clear off for the weekend, we will. Another system will come in later Saturday, Saturday night and Sunday and do a similar thing. So that's why I had to keep showers or put showers back in the forecast. Here's that northwesterly flow. This is Sunday, so a few weekend showers again, especially later Saturday into the first half of Sunday. And then it's going to get colder next week. Now the real source of this cold air is staying bottled up over the Canadian prairies and back in the Midwest, but we will be on the western periphery of this Arctic air mass. And when that sets up, we usually get some seepage into the Columbia Basin. That in turn will help the east wind to develop and keep us cold and dry. We won't be bitter cold like they will back east, but it is going to get a little bit colder and dry. We'll probably get some morning lows in the 20s and then it stays dry. We it looks like we have a lot of dry weather on tap for much of next week as we begin to see a warming trend at that point as well. Uh, today we warmed up to about 48. That's close to average for this date. We should be about 50 uh, over in Legrand. It was 40. Tillamook was 50 and it was 50 in Florence as well. In Portland right now it is 47. The wind is calm at the freezing level at 3200 feet. All right, our forecast for the coast looks like this morning fog and then mostly cloudy tomorrow with highs in the upper 40s for the valleys. We're not going to see any rain tomorrow. That's all clearing on out. We're going to end up with quite a bit of sunshine as we go or sorry, quite a bit of cloud cover as we go through the day tomorrow like this fog forming tonight and then fog and clouds tomorrow with a high of about 47 lows will be in the 30s. Now the seven day forecast um, again, we've got a few showers coming our I just skipped on over it. That's my podcast, by the way. Here's the seven day forecast. Light rain Friday, sun and shower Saturday and Sunday. But again, that's confined mainly to late Saturday, early Sunday. Some showers on Monday and then dry but chilly in the mornings. Highs still in the 40s. So all in all, Laurel, not too bad for February. Things are kind of settling down. No, no big storms to uh, concern ourselves with at this point. But be sure to check out Matt's podcast under the big umbrella with Matt. Yep, I just uploaded a new episode last week, so there's a lot to talk about. Thanks, Matt.